Hello YouTube, once again Osher is back with another video for you guys and today I am reviewing the Mayfix Medicom Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man um, and straight off the bat I've gotta say this is a really cool figure man but the QC issue is just just worse than the quality of, quality of this figure by a lot um, so taking a look at the detailing of this figure I mean it's just awesome Detailing is just awesome, man. You can see all the sculpt work. You can see the textured pattern on the mask and whole of the costume. And just looks really awesome. I do have some pain issues. And that is with the accessories. So I'll get that into that, into that um, a bit later. So uh, you can see the arms are sculpted nicely. The proportions on, on this figure are just really amazing and you can see the spire symbol right there or quote unquote drony um and that's just awesome don't see any paint splotches there or anything and you can see the web web shooters web shooters web shooters right there painted really nice you can see the bit of red right there you can see the silver and they they're sculpted really nicely too. They you you can't move them, so that's definitely not a plus. It's it's definitely pulls the figure back a bit because uh, posing becomes just a bit difficult, like web shooting poses. And you can see a bit super glue right there. That's because <sighs> okay. Let's first get in the QC issues because I'm really irritated by Mayfix man. Just remove both the hands. Now the problem with my figure is both the hand joints came broken. So I just started to play with it. I did use the hot water, hot water and cold water trick, but it didn't really work too well. And I did try and use it, uh, and it it didn't work. It, I I I just tried to articulate a bit and it just broke off me and both of them and I had to super glue them back on. This one doesn't look too bad, but this one just looks disgusting, man. All that super glue just sticks on there and makes it a bit difficult to um, put the hands on there. But these two hands fit perfectly fine. But it's it's an issue. It's definitely an issue. The posing becomes really difficult with this thing, but it... Uh, but if uh, you're good at posing, then you can definitely pull it off. And that's not a big enough problem for me to like, pull this back down too much and call it a really bad figure. It's just sometimes that uh, the companies don't pay much attention to their QC. And I don't really know why Mayfix doesn't do it. Because SHF pays a lot of attention to their QC issues, man. I haven't heard of a single QC issues with an SHF figure until now and just I'll just continue with the figure stop talking about QC QC issues you can see the textured pattern right there on the leg just focus damn it yeah you can see the textured pattern right there on the leg and all that sculpt work looks awesome you can see the red uh, it blends in really nicely don't see any paint splotches right there and um oh, oh one thing to mention is that all the web lines on this figure are like these ones they're all sculpted in and they're not like <clears throat> they're not like sculpted on it but they're like sculpted in so if um if like something gets stuck in these lines then you'll need toothpick or something sharp but be careful with it and something sharp to pick it off and it has happened to me um something i don't know what fell on this uh, figure and uh, all these web lines on the head got something stuck in them and i had to remove it with a toothpick so it's kind of irritating but it's a nice choice because it really pops out the web lines do really pop out and it looks really good so underneath the feet, you can see their sculpt work and paint work. You can see the treads. So that looks awesome too. Taking a look at the back of the figure. You can see right there. The joints. Uh, 
it's, it's kind of weird. The joints are kind of weird. The leg joints, the knee joints, um, because one of them is textured differently than the other. Uh, see the right one right here. This one is textured a bit different than this one. So it's kind of weird, but it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, and on the back, the spider symbol looks good, but I noticed something missing. It's this oval line in the center of it that goes around. Uh, so that is missing. That's a bummer, but I don't think it's on only on mine. It does that problem does exist on the paintwork itself. And the head sculpts, man, do they look awesome? They're sculpted really nicely. You can see the nose protruded out a bit. See, see right there. The lenses or what, whatever you call, what you may call it. Um, I'll call it just lenses, spider lenses. Uh, they are sculpted in. You can see those nice fine lines right there. Uh, and th and the paint is quite clean on both of the eyes, but this one does have a bit of splotching right there, if you can see it. And that that's that is a bummer, but it isn't too bad. Now, um, getting into the articulation of this figure, and here's where Mayfix just knocks it out of the ballpark. Because the articulation on a Spider-Man should be like phenomenal because he has to do all these like jumping poses and this figure is able to pull it off really easily. So the head moves up about that much and that that is just awesome. You can, you can even make him like into flying poses so that's really cool. You can pull the head down, swivel side to side. Pivot is just ungodly, man. Even a hu even a real human has troubles doing that. And does pivot to the left side too. <clears throat> then you've got a butterfly joint on the shoulders, which can uh, which helps you move move around. And um, it does go forward, it does go back, it does go up a bit too. So that's really cool. It just gives you an extra range of movement. The arms rotate all the way around. It can move outwards about that much. And then you do have a bicep sole, double joint elbows, and sadly, as I told you, I, I have no wrist articulation. So that's just sad, man. And then the diaphragm joint and the waist joint, they do function together and bend forwards that much, which is awesome. But it, it does reveal a bit of a gap back there. I don't really know if you can see it. Yeah, it does reveal a bit, a bit of a gap right there. And it does go back about that much. Again, gapages. I, I, I can't really say much. Uh, then it does roll at the waist as well as the diaphragm. And it does pivot side to side really well too. So that moves really well. Now for the legs, going for the legs, the lower legs. Um, they do have a swivel right there, a thigh swivel, which is nicely hidden. Um, and... To articulate the legs properly, you have to like pull them down. Is the pull down method that you, that you've probably seen on um, most SHFs and newer Mayfex figures? And pulling it down, it does kick forward that much, which is really nice. It does go back that much? It does move outwards all the way. That's that's just awesome, man. Spider-Man can definitely do the splits. So. You can just push them back on right there. Then you got double jointed knees, which bend in that much. Ankles swivel side to side. They do move up. They move down. Pivot really nice too. And because of the swivel, it really helps the pivot. And then you get to articulation. And of course, uh, there are no peg holes at the bottom. But we do have the treads though. So that's not a big problem. So you'll be able to pull most poses off, um, any kind of Spider-Man-like poses, which, and you can ma just make this figure look awesome, and without much effort. Just put him in a nice pose right there. Stand. Yeah. So, talking about the accessories on this guy... He's just loaded with stuff, man. First of all, uh, I would like to talk about his stand, which is the basic Mayfix stand. It does swivel at the bottom, and it does hinge at the bottom, then it hinges in the middle, 
and it does swivel on the top and hinge on the top too. It's connected via um, a clamp, which uh, which holds on to the Spider-Man really nice. But it is a smaller clamp, so it won't hold on to like bigger figures like Thanos or others. Um, so that's quite a bummer, but I really like this. Then you can pull the stand off of the joint. It's kind of difficult. Got to do it off camera. And yeah, so you can pull that off the joint and then you can attach it to the side joints right there. You can attach it right there, there, and right there. So that, uh, that stand is just amazing. It really helps the figure, um, like putting it into jumping poses and that. Uh, and then you do get two flipping hands don't know if you can see those focus um two flipping hands which look absolutely amazing then you do get um two fisted hands which also look really nice sculpted all the way you can even see the web shooter is right there then you do get two wall crawling hands like these and here's the major paint problem. You can see on the left wall crawling hand, this one, the shade is a lot darker than any part of the figure, even comparing it to the other hand. The shade is just a lot darker, man. It just looks weird while taking photographs. It's, it's really dark. It's almost like it's charred and it's burnt off or something like that. So that's that. And then... You do also get two hands to grip onto webs, which I'll show. And they can double up for like thumbs up hands. So that looks really good too. Then you do get two mask holding hands right there. And it does come with an unmasked Tom Holland head and uh, a mask to hold on. And here's the unmatched Tom Holland head. And here's my problem. It's really pale. It's almost like... It's I, it's coming out really pale on the camera, man. But on the camera, it comes out just really pale. But in real life, it looks fine. It's it's not even that pale. He, it's, it's a nice skin color, but... I think because this one is a re-release, they did um, like color it a bit differently and it does look nicer, but it's on photographs and on camera, I just lower my brightness a bit. Nah, man, it still looks the same. Nope. You won't be able to see it. it, it you have to get it in your hands to see how it actually looks. And it doesn't look bad off camera because it's just the it's just that on camera it just looks really pale like someone spread peanut butter all over his face so uh, that's a really nice head you can see the hair sculpted right there and you have to interchange it uh, by removing the neck I'll just show that it's kind of tight but it does work, so you can see that. And you do have to interchange it by removing the neck, because uh, this interchangeable head does have a neck with um, half the suit and half the skin tone, so that looks good too. Just remove that, pop the normal head back on. Yeah, so that looks good too. And then you do get a head with eyes that are squinted. So that looks awesome too. Uh, now my problem with this is that the eyes look too far apart on this. And it's just weird, man. It's It just looks too far apart. I mean, the eye should be where this um, black lens starts. That's where the eye should be, and, it's, and it just looks really weird, but the sculpt work is all there, and that's not 
a bad accessory at all. And then finally, you get some webs. Then you get two of these short flipping webs, and I will demonstrate how to um, how to put them on the figure. Just focus. Yeah, so I will demonstrate how to put them on the figure. Then you get two of these short webs, and then you get two of these longer flipping webs, which also look really nice. And then you get two of these swinging webs that you can put um, in these thumbs up hands, like so. And that looks really awesome. And then finally you get a really long um, web, which which is like spreading out at the end. And it does have a peg hole right there. And it does come with this peg piece, which you can put in right there. And you got to attach it to the Mafic stand that it comes with. Just pop that off and put this on like so. I don't really know what the need for this is, but I don't know, man. I guess it looks awesome. It's always look. It always looks like he's just flipping and and he's going for the stand instead of like some other figure. It would've been really nice if this web had a peg on it, so you could like peg it to the back of figures and make it look like he's going for the f other figures so that will look awesome but i guess it's a welcome accessory man Just peg that back off put the stand back in it's kind of difficult gotta do it off camera yeah so that's done and final accessories uh you do get magnetic feet and magnetic hands there they are. Magnets are on the bottom. You need to interchange these. I'll just put them aside for a moment and I'll talk about the other QC issue. QC uh, the other QC issue is that one of the uh, one of the hands, the magnetic hands, is missing a magnet. And that was straight out of the packaging. So that's really unfortunate, man. Um and I will just show you how these hands and feet work because uh, I do have some metallic clamps on my table. Yeah, so I have interchanged the feet and I have only interchanged the right hand with the magnet because the other hand is missing one. It's right there on my table. You can see that he is standing with the support of only his feet magnets, which is awesome. And isn't needing anything else to support him uh, not even the magnetic hand is attached to it you can see on the right clamp there I have attached the magnetic hand too and I have attached the feet as well so th these magnets do work really well man and, I, and if I had to put them on like my display with the magnetic hands and feet I would definitely do it and I'll trust the magnets very much and it will still look awesome. So yeah, they do function well. Back on the review station. And he does measure about five and a half inches tall. I just remember I forgot to show this mask. And it sculpted really well. And he can put it in his um, hand that is used for holding his mask. And yeah, next to some comic book figures. He does look really nice, man. It scales very, re really well. And here he is next to Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and Thanos from the three pack. And I think it works really good with Thanos and Doctor Strange, but he should be a tad bit smaller to like here uh, compared to Iron Man. And here he is next to Star Lord and Daredevil. And finally, here he is next to Proxima Midnight Vision, Goku, and Scarlet Witch. And these scale really well together as well. Because I've always thought that he uh, Sp Spider-Man is a bit less taller than... Smaller than Vision and both Scarlet Witch. Damn, I would have forgotten this too. Um, how to put the webs.
You just put the web through and attach the hand like that. And it looks really well. Yeah, so that's my review. Uh, and I definitely recommend this figure if you don't have a Spider-Man figure in the collection. Because this is just an awesome figure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Sayonara.